Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another game recap once again. Uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the notification icon. I'm going to be rolling with the Tennessee Titans uh, as uh, my base playbook. I'm going to be using just a few different formations. Going against the Baltimore Ravens, that's usually not uh, a regular team that you see online. And I'll, I'll share with you that this particular game is a defensive battle. Uh, this is the lowest scoring game I think I've ever played online um, for the most part. Uh, as far as the way how tight this game was, but this is probably the biggest defensive game I've ever played, um, especially here uh, in Madden 19. So um, I've got a subscriber, a Patreon member, uh, Ike, that uh, his runs a lot of this uh, cover four show to drop defense out of the nickel odd. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and build a defensive scheme around it. So I'm actually trying to, I'm playing around with some blitzes. Um, I haven't really settled in on that, but this is just basically be me labbing this defense and seeing how effective it was. Now, my opponent um, was using a ton of crossing routes. He was doing a lot of hot routes and stuff like that, using a lot of drags and complements with slants. Um, and he was making it very difficult to go and stop these type of plays. I'm not a big proponent. I'm playing mad defense. I, I find that anytime I play man defense, I always get burned. So right here, uh, I pretty much lock things up for him. But he takes off with Joe Flacco. He's able to go ahead and get a nice big run with Joe Flacco, of all players. Fumbles the ball, but he actually gets it back on offense. So... Once again, playing with this uh, this zone defense, I went ahead and changed the coverage a little bit. Cloud Flats, uh, putting uh, my safeties into uh, hook zones and actually dropping my middle linebacker in a deep third. And then I think I spied up a defender, defender right there. So we were able to go and shut down the run um, on that type of situation. And this guy was just no huddling. Tried to hit him with some pressure. I, I, this blitz was not setting up correctly in this, 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 this uh, gameplay. So um, I'm going to be experimenting with other ways to set it up to get a little more consistent. So you can see the right there, the running back completely picks that up perfectly uh, and stops his run he's able to go and hit get get a pass off the side so now i go into a cover a one blitz, a blitz or the it's like a buzz blitz uh, he runs the perfect angle and he gets himself another first down so first and 10 type of situation got the clock down to about a minute 30 he's he would jump into occasional goal line and first down situations establish a run. As you can see right there, I, I clicked off to the far far back uh, line or the uh, far back safety because I knew that he can only really pretty much one, run one direction, and I can use that as pursuit to take away angles. So now I go in and, and spark him up with one of my favorite blitzes. This blitz is great to get get pressure, but it also has a lot of holes in the coverage. And if if you use this too much, you will get burnt um, because it's just it, it has a ton of holes. So pressure off the edge right there uh, by Floyd. I'm able to go ahead and get a nice tackle right there he no huddles out of frustration and now i just go with all zones i've got a cover three shell uh underneath this i don't i don't think i have my audible set up uh right there it actually has a nice complete opportunity to get a completion but uh my, my guy hits him so on a fourth and 22 he goes into um basically empty back situation i'm going to hit him with some a really aggressive man, uh, man blitz he misses his read and actually go ahead and i'm able to go and sack him so i got the ball right now with about uh going into the second quarter i want to try to establish the run um he was using um basically Basically, the, the, the cover four uh, show two defense also. So one of the things I notice when I'm labbing against that defense and using that defense is that that defense, because of those contains, they do take away wide receiver screens. So another thing I did notice, too, is that if, if you leave that, that, that defense base defense, uh, the routes will carry, leaving underneath routes completely naked. So unless he was making adjustments or making any kind of a uh, changes at all, um, there I knew there were certain weaknesses. Now this is what play this one play I like to go and jump into was completely locked up by his user. Uh, I think I could have hit the tight end, but Mitch Trubisky has a tendency to overthrow balls, so I don't have confidence in that throw. Right here, I missed an opportunity to get a first down. Uh, with Howard, so third and three situation. Here's a here's a weakness to the the cover uh, four show two defenses. If you have a comeback route on the left hand side with a running back route uh, right there, you can actually get a nice completion. Now um, you'll see me going back to that concept again later on in the game, uh, and his defender makes a huge play. So little stretch play right here, first and ten, chewing the clock as much as possible. I don't want to give this guy the ball back at all. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take this down uh, the clock as much as possible. It actually takes a timeout right here. I go into a flanker runner, which is one of my favorite plays, and I'm looking for the crossing route underneath, but he gets good pressure off the man, and I misread the running back route, which actually was covered by his user. Threw it late and didn't get any yards out of it. I would have thrown that right away. I think he jumped into a man coverage, which is a little bit unusual to see down to the red zone, but he would run in the, run man coverages down to the red zone, and it just it would mess up my reads just because out of, out of players' tendencies. So right now, um, I'm, I'm trying to pick a play. I don't know what the run, um, because he's, he's done a really good job. So he takes away that route. I want to throw X, but he's covered. I just got rid of the ball. I probably could have ran with it, but uh, I just didn't feel confident that Mitch Trubisky would hold on to the ball, and I, I don't think I could have got the ball in the end zone. So I'll settle for three points, and you're going to realize on how important it is to settle for points in those type of situations. You never want to risk it because three points could be the difference in the game, and I can tell you that these three points are huge in this game, more than you ever think. So right here, you know, huddle again I go into uh, basically a different shell I do a hybrid shell I do a cover two shell over the middle <clears throat> and he's still getting these these uh, crossing routes opened up before so once again no huddles again I go into a cloud coverage right here I think I spy up the outside linebacker uh, just to have him cross over the middle and he's got uh, basically slants on the back inside. I had to go ahead and take away the other side because that was a bigger play opportunity. And he smartly drops it down. So this guy had his reads down. He's running fairly simple, comp, uh, simple, uh, uh, you know, uh, formations. He's just running a lot of crossing routes and a lot of mesh concepts. Uh, but I was having a hard time stopping it because I was I was kind of trying to stay within the the defensive set that one of my patron Ike was actually using. So I didn't I didn't I didn't want to get out of it just to go ahead and see how his defense played a little bit differently. Usually I'd use a little bit more pressure and stuff like that, but I, I was experimenting with with the defensive scheme. So I was playing within the defensive scheme that I that I wanted to build out. So uh, once again, the cover three, uh, sh a cloud coverage. I think I, I made an adjustment over the middle right here. This is actually more of a cover six. Got an edge uh, pressure. This guy actually goes ahead and does his little crossing routes, and Mac does not make a play in the ball. Uh, so he hurt no huddles once again. I stay with the same type of a defense, looking for the crossing routes, pass off. And right here, I send a guy after him, and actually he hits uh, a, like a post route, a dragging route over the middle, and actually gets the ball smartly out, out of bounds. So this guy was a really smart opponent, understood his schemes, under, understood uh, where defensives, uh, defenses broke down. I try to hit him with some pressure. I haven't really hit a lot of pressure against this guy at all. Uh, so right here, I want to fall into the gap. I don't preoccupy the guy, but look at it. He hits a little wheel route uh, out of verticals and actually gets it down. So this is the bonehead play of the game. Seven seconds left. Uh, he tries to go and takes a shot in the end zone. Um, he has no timeouts, so I don't understand the logic of that. He should, you know, you've got to go. You got to take three points in this type of situation because if he catch, if I catch him short of the red zone, uh, it's pretty much over. So I actually hit pressure against him. Uh, he actually picks everything up, but he throws into a cloud coverage with Fuller and Fuller. Not, I didn't get a safety right there. He actually stays out of bounds. So that's the end of the half. Going into the second half right now. Uh, up three nothing, getting the ball back. So uh, go ahead and jump once again um, into uh, the uh, wheel drag post route right here. He takes away the, the the drag right here. I go back to the running back route on the back inside. <clears throat> so he was actually playing really good defense. Like he would he would bait he would try to bait me. So right here is another concept that should beat coverage. But look at this play right here by his defensive uh, defender right there. So third and one type of situation. This is just an inside zone run. I think I might have no huddled into this, and I just I get a great break, a broken tackle by Howard to go and get a first down. So first and ten, right here, uh, doing the uh, doing a post shot type situation. He takes away my read, and actually I look back. He pulled off, throwing off my read. That guy was in the in the back corner was wide open, and I totally missed that. But it was just because I was I like getting rid of the ball quick. I do not like holding on to the ball at all. Um, it's just just my personal preference to how I run. My my defense and he basically baited me out of a he ba basically took away one of my reads and I had no reads after that so uh, right here got rid of the ball a little bit late with Howard able to go and pick up a couple yards but fourth and 14 um, I've had some good defensive plays so I got to go ahead and kick, kick the ball back to this guy so I get the ball down to the 19 yard line which is a good play so right here he's been rolling out a lot with his quarterback waiting for plays to develop so I actually go ahead and put one of my defenders in a spy 
dots me up once again with a crosser. So this guy's just killing me with these little crossing routes and this and this coverage. And I know what you're probably thinking. You got to get out of this coverage. This coverage is not working for you. But I'm playing it deliberately for one of my patrons uh, just to get a better feel for how how to 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 build a scheme on. And just I didn't really have anything going as far as the stopping this play. So right here, crossing routes right here. Yeah, I see the deep post route, uh, and um, Rokon Smith is able to go and knock that ball down. So third and six situation. I'm going to dial up one of my favorite blitzes. This blitz right here. I've got the show two blitz, and he actually pops it right here. My defensive back Fuller misses the interception. <sighs> you know, it is what it is. It was a soft squad. If it was a hard squad, I probably would have uh, been able to get an interception on that on that play. So it is what it is. So I've got a middle a zone right there. I go ahead and put a cloud flat on the backhand side, figuring he's going to do a lot of crossing routes. Um, I could have probably just manually blitzed that guy. You could see my defender actually came in and look at us, a missed tackle, and he gets the ball down to uh, the 30-yard line right there. So once again, I'm going with the cover two. I've got basically spy. I send my spy, and he actually throws <laughs> There's three defenders right there, and he caught that. I can't believe this guy was getting away with a lot of stuff on defense. So now I double spy at my guys because he's not committed to the run at all. I've got flat zones out in the areas. Crossers spend my, send my guys after him uh, because he's he's just rolling out and he actually gets he smartly gets rid of the ball right here. So second and ten type of situation. Once again, trying to hit him with some pressure off the edge. The pressure gets picked off, and right there I actually defend it right here. So uh, I actually switched things up. I did a crossfire blitz. I've got a cover three shell right over the middle, and fortunately for me, he throws into Amos, and I get an interception. So four minutes and 45 seconds left, up three points. My primary goal right now is to just get first downs and chew the clock. So right here, I tried to do a little inside run. He sat. He uh, actually gets me. Uh, come back uh, to uh, a crossing, or the running right back route by Howard, and I'm able to go in and get uh, just a couple yards. So third and ten situation. I'm in a pretty big ugly situation. So I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, cover four, or cover four show two beater, and no defender actually comes out to the deep comeback route, and Robinson catches the ball. I possession catch it because I just want to get completion. He rolls out of bounds, but that's good. I still got the clock moving, so I do a little uh, draw play right here. Haven't shown this to him at all. Uh, go back uh, to the inside zone, trying to cut it up, and his uh, his defensive tackle actually goes ahead and makes a little block shed. Gets me a third and one inches type of situation. So back under to the under uh, play right here, and he has man coverages, and um, <laughs> Gabriel just couldn't get off. So this is the play of the game. This is going to be the game, uh, game play. If, if I don't stop this guy, I'm, I'm not going to work. So I go into uh, shakes right here. And I'm looking to Cohen off the left-hand side. His defender comes out, and then uh, basically everybody's tied up in the line. I actually hit the deep post right here, and Miller, a rookie, a rookie wide receiver for the Chicago Bears, catches the ball, and that's pretty much it for the rest of the game. Um, all I really need is a first down, and this game is pretty much over. Uh, I just, I'm just i chewing the clock because I'm in field goal range right here. He gets a nice little block shed, but that last play was pretty much the play of the game because uh, he's, he's starting to burn his timeouts. This is the, uh, the nail in the coffin. I go back to uh, Salem, and I look for the crosser. He misses. He's completely out of position. Burton's able to go ahead and pick up a first down, and that's it. So once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support. I'll be rolling out. I'm going to try to uh, perfect this defensive scheme. I don't really like the showing with it, but um, you know, we'll, I'll be rolling out some kind of defensive scheme for my patrons that they can go ahead and use online to get more wins. So thanks a lot for your support, guys, and until next time.